America is facing high-tech threats from around the world, and our government needs to be on the cutting edge of technology and innovation to keep us safe. Production of the F-35 fighter jet was recently ramped up. It's a truly remarkable stealth fighter that will be in use by our government in some of the most dangerous areas of the globe. Judge Jeanine recently visited Lockheed Martin's fighter demonstration center for a first-hand look at the unbelievable technology behind the F-35. She even got to fly in an F-35 simulator. Very jealous. Take a look. So here we are in Arlington, Virginia, at the Lockheed Martin Fighter Demonstration Center. And we are actually going to be flying, kind of, an F-35, which is an amazing stealth vehicle that you've been hearing a lot about in the uh, political arena. We're going to show you what an amazing plane this is. Okay, I can see a light. All right, and now I sit. Is there a seat belt? This is our camera? Yes. Hi. <laughs> I'm here at the center with Al Norman and Bob Rubino, both of them uh, former Navy pilots. You're a test pilot. All right, you want to correct me already, I can tell. <laughs> what would you say that the F-35 has to offer that no other airplane has to offer? Well, Judge, I'd say the F-35 is the first, the only multi-role fighter available to the world. It combines the attributes of stealth, sensor-fused, mission system avionics, and network-centric operations, in other words, connectivity between airplanes, to allow pilots now that fly the airplane to go places they couldn't go before, to know things they could never know before, to execute their mission and come home safely. What does that signify when the big flames come out the back? It makes you go faster. Oh, we're going to do this a lot. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. So they put your arm here, and this is what we call the control stick. And you pull back on so this. So this is a double fisted thing. It huh? is. Am I pressing that button? Um, no, um, we may press it later, but we don't need to press it right now. Is there a bomb in that? There's a, there's a gun in that. Oh, there's a gun. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> Between all of the, uh, you know, what you would see on an old airplane, you see the dials, none of that stuff is visible on this, this F-35. I mean, is it a new way to fight? Is this offering us the ability to be safer? It's, it's not only a new way to fight, it's a new way to think. Your mission today is to attack a control tower at an enemy airfield. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go and do that with 2,000-pound uh, bombs that we have internal to the, to the uh, aircraft. Those are what you're going to be using to drop. These little circles, with, yes. so they're actually squares with circles around them, mm -hmm. those are bad guy airplanes. How do I drop the bomb? It would be this The button. red one. Well, we want to give our men and women in uniform an unfair edge if they have to go into combat. It gives them the ability to go execute the mission and come back safely every time. And that's what F-35 is going to do for the uh, U.S. services. I'm going to push go. You're not going to be flying the airplane. Well, you put it where you want. Why can you sky now? Not yet. You're almost there in range. Just push and hold the button. The red button? Yep. You can watch your weapon bay door open up there, and the bomb goes away. You could drop another one if you want. You have two of them. Right. And it shows you a couple of seconds of impact. There's a couple of those flashes, a couple of the flashes, and you just took out that hangar. This airplane, because of those attributes, like you said, allow the pilot to decide what to do and when to do. So instead of those knobs and dials that we're used to, mm -hmm. and being a technician and operating those, mm -hmm. we've now become a tactician of the battle space, and we know everything that's going on around us. Now we're slowing down to release your right pedal, perfect. There's a couple of other F-35s on the deck. Tell them to get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> see your little airplane right there? I see, yeah, You'll but see where's the ship? the ship? It's gonna come in a minute, right here. Just keep looking up and we'll go to zero when we get above the ship. With what? Yep, if you want to, don't do it yet, don't do it yet, there's your airplane, the ship. In the ocean, go ahead and right? do it now, correct. So helicopter, look down to your left, there's the ship. So wow. now we want to line up with that yellow line and the way we do that is our left foot, push your left foot. This is amazing, it just, it flies itself. Just keep coming, coming. That is unbelievable. There you go, you heard the tire? Yeah. yeah. I get the sense that it really gives the pilot the ability to think as opposed to trying to figure things out. That's exactly. Actually, the pilot's not thinking, this is thinking. It's, uh, it's, it's both of you. It's both of you. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. 
I wasn't thinking much. <laughs> All right, you get now? So you stand up again, stand up I assume? Again is the easiest way to do it. There you go. That's it. A little heavy. Okay. Wow. Everything that I saw in the cockpit, I'm seeing in this helmet. If you turn your head, you'll be able to see that all that information still follows you. If you look down between your legs, you can see what's below you. You're oh, looking that through. is incredible. It's beautiful. It's clear. It's worth every penny. Amazing. So everybody, go out and buy one. <laughs> Man, so awesome, very jealous. She definitely had the best flight suit in the building.